Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we're gonna learn about the materialize card and we'll insert the card in our web page. But our web page is having a little bit issue here so if I go back here and save all of these stuffs and hit a reload we see that this is going a bit higher and this is onto a lower side. Not of a big deal, we can come up here and just add a class move here. Uh, I just tried a little bit of the thing so that I can make it almost look perfectish. So just add a class move or Hitesh or whatever you like and we can just come up here and just uh, write some of the CSS for the move class. So all we need is a little bit of the padding on the top side or you can call it as a margin as well. Padding actually does the job but surely you can include the margin and I think here margin would be a better option. Previously I tried with the padding but I now realize that margin is going to be a better option. So margin on the top side is going to be 60 pixel and save that and this should fix a majority of the stuff and there we go. As you can see this looks pretty nice and awesome now it's now all aligned almost perfectly and yes the 60 pixel is not a mag magical figure. I tried a little bit behind the screen and that's how I came up to it. And you can see that a little bit of the margin on the bottom is also required so that it goes nicely and we can go for a margin bottom and that's going to be 20 pixel is good enough. So let's go ahead and see that and there we go, nice and easy. Now if this margin is looking too much to you on the smaller screen or a mid scale uh, on a smaller screen then surely we can go into the media queries and later on can remove this or can shrink it to a little bit on 10 pixel or 20 pixel something. So definitely we will be writing some of the media queries and these things or bugs need to be fixed in the media queries later on. Now let's go ahead and see and talk about the cards now. Now before my card comes in I want to make a placeholder or a place where I can exactly place my card. It's not like I'm going to be placing them directly. I will be surely using materialize in a second but first and foremost I'm going to be having these cards. So this section is going to have my favorite cards and then I would like to first and foremost will like to create a row. Always before the column the row comes in. Now in the row this time I would like to add some of the inline styling here. Surely I can add them inside the CSS but they are very very small just two properties that's why I'm keeping them here. So I want to add a little bit of the padding on the left side of 50 pixels. I am not using container here that's why I'm giving a little bit of the room on the left and right side. So 50 pixel on the left side and 50 pixel on the right side. So I'm going to get a padding on the right side of 50 pixel and that's it. That's all the thing I want to do here. Okay. Moving forward, once my row is all ready with the styling that I want it to have, then I would like to have a column. So let's have a div dot call and this column will have a couple of classes that we will introduce. So on a smaller screen, I'll cover up whole 12 blocks that is given to me. On the medium also, I would like to cover up whole 12 blocks that is given to me. But on the larger screen, I would like to divide it into four. That means three card can be placed in a row. So that's all the mathematical calculation that's going on. So let's hit the tab and there we go. Here also we will add a little bit of the styling here for the padding. So let's go add some of the styling. Let's go ahead and add a simple padding. So I'm going to be saying hey I need 50 pixels and a little bit of 5 pixels. So top, bottom as well as right and left both are all done. Okay. So I have this entire thing going on up here and I want to add more cards in it. I will bring the card but first since I said that there will be uh, four uh, being out of the 12 the four columns will be covered up here so obviously I need to create more. So I'm going to duplicate I'm pressing my option shift and down arrow on the windows I guess it's command shift D or control shift D not command. Okay so I have now three columns and inside each of them I will be inserting the card. So where is my card? My card is going to be coming up from materialize and if you click on components and card there is a whole lot of card section and you can just copy or modify whoever you like. This one is actually pretty nice and it can do a lot of stuff. I am interested in these card reveal which automatically goes away and brings up the stuff. So I will copy this entirety of the card since it is just a component I don't need to worry much about the CSS. I'll go up here, I'll paste it here and we'll save it and see how does that look. And there we go, this is my card looking right now not great. Let's go ahead and fix that. First and foremost, it is having an issue of the images. Uh, it says images slash office.jpg, which is not really available. 
inside the images we have item one so that's what we will be pulling up so let's go ahead and remove that and we'll be saying item one dot jpeg and see that and there we go your nice awesome card is available and it shows all the reveal properties we can definitely customize make it translucent colored or coffee color that would be awesome but now let's go ahead and add a bit more of the stuff on these cards uh, not much but i'll just add instead of the card title i'll say the coffee name here so i'm gonna say uh, simply coffee 10 just just a fancy name for coffee <laughs> okay and this is a link how does it look nope it doesn't look good so i'm going to remove this one here i don't like you at all and then we are going to have a uh, coffee one nope i actually wrote coffee one at a wrong place okay let's see the card title yeah i was right my bad sorry so we're going to simply say coffee one oh and then we're gonna surely remove this one and then again we have a car title close this one is okay i'm gonna just keep it that way okay so looks great and now i can go ahead and insert all of these into this guy and i need another one which is gonna go somewhere here there we go this is the third one and paste that let's see how our cards are looking up definitely needs to add a coffee image so trying to find it out so there we go uh, this is the last one so this is going to have an item 3 jpeg slash item 3 dot jpeg and i have just above here there we go nice and easy to find item 2 dot jpeg save that and there we go you can see our card title and everything looks great and since we removed the card this is a link they are not very much organized let's go ahead and fix them so I don't want you. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. And I also don't want you. So I'll get rid of you. And they should be all now in symmetric. And the best part is if I shrink them up, they automatically moves one big coffee at one place. Looks absolutely beautiful. And the images are all nice and automatically working up great for us. Looks great. And definitely before moving on to the next video, I will be filling up some of the information behind your back, which is not going to say must, uh, just a much. I'll just add a coffee name here, the cappuccino, probably a paragraph below them or something like that. Not much, but I think you can also do it. It's just adding a coffee name and a paragraph shouldn't be bothering you much. And there we go. Told you it's so simple to have these materialized and such libraries and frameworks that it makes our life so much easier. So there we go. The website is now coming up nice and easy. And now we're going to move on to the next video and we'll be covering up two topics in the next video because now you are getting more familiar so we can cover more topics. That's it for this one. Hit that subscribe and I'll catch you up in the next one.